In this question, we have a neutral sulfur atom and we're trying to figure out its electron configuration. The first step is to figure out how many electrons are in our sulfur atom. So let's have a look at our reference sheet. We find sulfur. Here's sulfur in our periodic table. And we want to look at the atomic number, which is this one in the top left. The atomic number is 16. That means sulfur has 16 protons. Since it's asking about a neutral sulfur atom, we know the number of protons and electrons must be the same. So if it has 16 protons, it must have 16 electrons. Okay, now we're gonna write out our electron configuration. So to do that, we're gonna remember to follow the Aufbau principle. So same as before, we need to make sure we fill our um, energy levels or our sub-energy levels in the right order. So we're gonna write out our energy levels like this in a little diagram. And these go all the way up to energy level seven. They keep going. But we're not gonna need to go that far. So I'm just gonna go up to five here on our diagram. Um, now when we're filling, we need to make sure we fill in the correct order. So this is the Aufbau principle. So remembering we kind of draw a diagonal arrow like this to show we fill one S first, then we fill two S, then we fill two P, then three S, then three P, then four S. So we kind of skip out three D, which we might expect to be next and go straight to four S. Then we fill the three D, then the four P, and then the five S. So again, you can see we're skipping out the 4D and the 4F and going straight to 5S. Then we go back to fill the 4D and the 5P, etc. So we follow through in this order shown by the arrows that we've drawn, not just going straight across and reading from each row. So we'll bear that in mind as we fill out our electron configuration. We also need to remember how many electrons each of these sublevels can have. So the S sublevel has one electron orbital and each orbital can fit up to two electrons. So an S level can have a total of two electrons. P sublevels have three orbitals. Each orbital can fit up to two. So that's a total of six electrons. D orbitals have five, sorry, D sublevels have five orbitals. Each orbital can fit up to two electrons. So that's a total of 10 electrons. And each F sublevel has seven orbitals. Each orbital can fit two electrons, so that's a total of 14 electrons for our S, P, D, and F. Okay, we're ready to start filling. So our first uh, piece in our electron configuration will be our S, 1S energy level, which is this one here. And to figure out how many we have in that. We know it can only fit up to two electrons. So it's gonna be one S and the superscript two shows we've got two electrons in it. That's our first two electrons accounted for. Okay, next we're gonna start filling our two S level. Two S is an S energy, uh, sub energy level. So it can only fit up to two electrons. And since we have 16 electrons total, we've only used up two, we're definitely gonna fill this one. So it's gonna be 2s2, showing we're on the 2s sublevel and it fit two electrons. Next, we fill 2p according to uh, the Aufbau principle. And that can fit up to six electrons. So, so far we've got two, four electrons used up. Using up six more will get us up to 10, which still isn't all of our electrons. We've got up to 16 in total. So the 2p level is gonna be full and it can only fit up to six. So we're gonna have 2p level with six electrons in it. So, so far that's 10 electrons in total, two plus two plus six. We've got six electrons left. After 2p, let's just have a look at our dragon. We filled 2s, we filled 2p. Next, we're gonna fill 3s. S can fit up to two electrons in it. We've got 10 electrons used up so far, so 11 and 12 are gonna go in here. 
that's going to be full, the 3s2 level. That's 12 electrons in total. We've got four electrons left in our sulfur atom. Our next energy level is 3p. And p can fit up to six electrons. But we've only got four left. So those last four are going to go in the 3p energy level with a four to show we've got four electrons there. So that's it, that's our electron configuration. This is how we write it out with the uh, energy level number followed by the sublevel type S, P, D or F, followed by a superscript with the number of electrons in that energy sublevel. Finally, looking at the number of valence electrons, we're looking for the highest energy level that we have, which here is three. with two electrons in the S and four electrons in the P. So in total, we have six electrons in our third energy level, which is our outer energy level. So we've got six valence electrons for our sulfur atom.